there was a train wreck about what, last week, and all these people ended up dying. And it's funny, you know, I figure they're probably a hell of a lot like me. They've got, um, you know, their own lives, and they're doing all the things they think they're supposed to be doing, which is, I think, all that anybody of us really does. None of us really knows what we're doing. But, you know, we go out and we have careers and children and kids and all this kind of stuff. Like, it means something. But, you know, what... What impact was my life going to have 10 years or 50 years or 100 years or 1,000 years after I'm gone? You know, and the fact is, if, you know, from a physics perspective, even if you just take it from a non-philosophical perspective, physicists say that there's a beginning to the universe and there's going to be an end, and everything is slowly decaying and going towards entropy and chaos, and that at some point, everything will simply be dead. So even if I made some big thing and I saved an important person or I made 100,000 people live better lives, at the end of the day, is it really worth anything? And I gotta think the answer is no. So anyway, these people, I really hope they, something came out of their lives and I really hope they enjoyed what little time they had while they had it. You know, for all I know, I'm going to walk down the street and later today and I'm going to get hit by a truck and it'll all be over and I sure as hell hope that I lived my life in a way that was, that I could have been happy with the day I died. So anyway, I don't seem to be such a downer and everything, but uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty bleak world out there sometimes and you got to hold on what you can get. You know, life is short, it's really true, and I found that as I get older it goes faster and faster and faster, and 
I'm a little scared and I know it'll happen, but one day I'll wake up and I'll be 65. So every day I go from here on, I gotta be living in a way that, you know, when I get to the point of dying, I won't be swamped with regrets for having hurt people or been selfish or anything else. And I don't know if there's any kind of meaning to life. I suppose that just comes as close as it is. Live the very best you can, and hopefully all of us living together the very best we can will add up to something worthwhile. Anyway, I can see that you're looking to get going here, and I'm sorry to have pulled you aside, but um, thanks for listening, and I hope, I hope it means something to you. Have a good life.